Hey, good day family, Casting over here and I'm bringing you another episode of Foundation Friday. This week, what I thought about was a conversation that I had with a good buddy and he said, you know, you got your hands in so many things. You got a lot of irons and a lot of fires. What's the investment that you are the most proud of? What's the business that you're the most proud of? And I thought about that and I was thinking, okay, maybe I could say my house. You know, we built our house from the ground up, you know, after being homeless, after only living in apartments, after so many storms that we've been through. I was like, okay, maybe I could say my car. And while a lot of people would say, hey, a car, it's a depreciating asset, or even worse, it's a liability, I always say it depends on how you use it. And for me, fortunately, I was able to use my car as the way that I got into real estate. So I was very proud of that. And I was thinking uh, that should be probably an answer that I say, but I gave it a little bit deeper thought. And on the fly, I was like, nah, I'll tell you, the biggest investment that I ever made for myself was the investment that I made in myself. And so I say that to you because as you're going into the weekend right now, ask yourself, who have you became over this week? So what do I mean by that? A lot of the times we think about who are the people that we need to surround ourselves with the most. A lot of the times we've heard the sayings, your network is your net worth, right? And you are the sum of the five people who you surround yourself with the most. And even another saying that goes, if you show me your five friends or your five associates, I could probably show you within 10% what your bank account, what your goals, what your habits look like based off of what they're doing, you're gonna associate and you're probably gonna do that as well. But for me, what I really thought about and when I say, who did you become this week? For me, I learned this from Jim Rohn to give all credit, but who do I need to become to get what I want? I always encourage people to think that way. And I remember when I was first starting to get into business, any type of business, I was always doing some entrepreneur things, but I needed to invest into myself. So what did that mean? Because you might be like, hey, I don't have any money, which is totally okay. But are you reading books? Are you listening to podcasts? Are you watching YouTube videos? What are you doing to level up? And I'll tell you, if you say, while well, I am doing those things, are you doing those things with a purpose? Are you doing those things with an intention? Do you know exactly what you're trying to get out of it? If you're building a business right now, then you have to think, okay, well, where am I lacking? Maybe it's the systems. Maybe it's my mission, my vision, my values. Maybe it's the people. So when I'm listening to podcasts or if I'm reading books, I'm doing it with an end in mind. I'm trying to figure out how do I overcome the challenges, but also people who have already been successful that have overcame the challenges already, what did they do? And then I'm trying to take bits and pieces and nuggets of that, right? Jim Rohn, again, I'm always giving credit because I've learned so much from him, but he said, it doesn't matter what success, what level of success that you have, but that level of success will never supersede your level of personal development and your level of growth, right? It will never. So you have to continuously be working on yourself. No matter who it is, once they get to a certain level, six figures in their business, they're trying to figure out what do they need to do to get something they've never done to go to seven figures or eight figures or even nine figures, depending on who that person is. And a lot of the times that's gonna come through association and that's gonna come through personal development. That means that you probably need to get some type of a mentor, some type of a coach. And maybe that person is in your city, in your town because they've already done something of what you've done. Or maybe that person is not and you're learning from them from afar. But I'll tell you, if you make the investment into yourself, the biggest room that you'll ever be in, right, is that room for improvement. And that's the room that I love because every single day it shows me that I'm still grinding. I got to be still hungry. I got to keep associating with myself with people who are going to continue to push me forward, who are going to continue to challenge me, not only physically, but also going to challenge me mentally to say, hey, well, I love that, but you're working really hard, bro. When was the last time that you took your wife out on a date?